All right, hi there guys, this is Trevor from Armc Outdoors and today I am gonna go down and test the new Lone Peak 5s. Got my hands on these guys and uh, I've had the 4.5s before and I really want to do a comparison review here. So we're gonna take them out real quick to my local trail, South Valley, here in Colorado, here in Littleton. Uh, brand new shoe. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna see how it does. I don't normally run an ultra, typically some of my other trail shoes. Oh, I've got so many trail shoes, but um, I always want to love ultra and I never have, um, at least the Lone Peak. I think it's a good shoe, but I've been waiting for one that I really love and I think this might be it. The new midsole looks pretty uh, pretty impressive. So we're gonna see how it works today, get some, get some clips of me using it, get a first impressions, and then uh, we'll go sit down at the desk probably tomorrow because it's supposed to snow, so I wanted to get this in today. Uh, we'll probably sit down tomorrow do a quick comparison between the two and see which one works for you guys. So stay tuned. All right guys, so I'm here. I wanted to do a quick little comparison between these two shoes. Let's do this. So the lighting is not the best, but we've got the new one here and the 4.5 here. Uh, outsole looks to be about the exact same on both the shoes. There we go. Uh, looks to be about the same. I was reading some comments on, the, on their website saying that the width looked a little um, less wide and I believe they're strategically doing that and that's because it's a little windy here I hope you guys can hear me okay but that's because they're making wide soon ultra is so I really don't care my, I like to think my foot's pretty wide and this shoe fit me really well off the bat so we'll see after after we run here but um, you know just wait a little bit these are gonna come in a wide and if you need a wide then get a wide but I think they're trying to appeal to more people and that makes complete sense I know there's loyal customers out there that buy them for that wide toe box but um, you know you can't blame a company for trying to appeal to more people uh, at least they're coming up with a solution with that wide uh, fit so um, off the bat they do actually look a little less wide that's okay with me I think they look a little bit better that way and they fit me a little bit better so uh, the biggest thing right off the bat uh, that we're gonna notice today is gonna be the midsole again I know this doesn't look very good but I'll do some close-ups at home this is an ego midsole on the new guy so I can feel off the bat I have a lot of shoes I can typically tell what a midsole is gonna feel like even just by touching it it's a bit more firm it actually feels a little bit more responsive than uh, this guy in here this one's felt just really gooey on this um, I didn't run a lot in this shoe. I used it for backpacking and hiking. And um, I, didn't, I don't know, I wasn't the biggest fan. It did its job, um, but I thought there was better shoes out there. This one I feel like comes up a little bit higher off the bat as well, so it's a little bit higher. Um, we'll get on with it. I'll do the full first impressions um, when we get back inside and it's also windy, you guys can hear me well. So yeah, we'll see you guys on the trail. So, as you guys can hear, hopefully not too much because I got the new windscreen on the camera here. It's getting a bit windy, sun went down. I thought I could beat it, which is why I'm dressed like it's midsummer. So it's getting a little chilly. We're gonna, we're gonna put the camera down or away and uh, try to get back. So um, hopefully that was enough footage for you guys. As I said, I'm really excited to use this more. Uh, we'll get back home to the desk and I'll show you guys the, the differences um, up close of uh, between the Ultra 4.5 and the 5. All 
All right, guys, we're back in the car. Uh, got cold quick. I should know better. I live in Colorado. I have my whole life. Uh, but I just wanted to get out quick, do a two, I think it's two and a half miles here at South Valley here in Colorado. So I needed to run anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys like this kind of content, this is what we do here at RMK. You guys can subscribe to the channel or even like or share. It really helps uh, support the channel. But uh, we're going to head back home, get them on the desk. I'm going to eat some dinner quick. And then we're going to do the quick overview and first impressions that I wanted to get done today. Um, I'm glad we got this done. I know you guys want to see it in action. I know that's a really important part to me is seeing that shoe in action, seeing some good shots, you know, um, outside of what the reviewer thinks. Everyone's different. Everyone has different preferences that with the toe box which what have you but um, we're gonna go over it and uh, yeah so stay tuned guys all right guys we are back in the studio aka my bedroom and uh, we are gonna talk about the differences at least off the bat that I noticed and that I've um, done a little bit of research on and found uh, of the Lone Peak 5 versus the 4.5 so uh, the run felt great the midsole I could definitely tell that it was a bit bouncier a bit more responsive um, and even it felt a little bit thicker I don't know if that's just because I'm used to other shoes but um, it felt extremely good um, so I'm gonna talk about I kind of told you guys how it felt on the trail so I'm gonna kind of hit on some of the um, differences here so on the upper you have less overlays between uh, the two shoes or less overlays on the five here so it's a little bit simplified I think it looks a little bit better too which we all know is the most important part you do have drainage holes on the front toe here as well and I already thought this had pretty good drainage so you've got those on there outside of the upper that's pretty much the same um, and then obviously onto the ego midsole again uh, much more responsive I felt has a bit more structure than the 4.5s I felt like the 4.5 was just kind of flimsy I, I don't know if that's just because these are broken down I'm getting dirt everywhere it feels like a more solid shoe and I felt like the 4.5 was again a little flimsy so I, that was welcomed I think that this uh, it felt really great out of the box I know it's a new shoe but um, you know it felt good today so so as for the fit I did notice that it is a bit more snug not only off my first impressions, but it does fit a little bit better for me I don't have I I actually kind of have a wider foot typically and I, I thought that these were a bit sloppy the 4.5s I really kind of like the lockdown I'm getting on these and one huge thing I noticed. I'm sorry my dogs I thought she was done eating, but she's uh, she's kind of just picking up the scraps So hopefully you guys can't hear that but um She does what she wants the one thing I found on the 4.5s, they, they were kind of a lower profile here, and I've noticed that it looks like these guys, the 5s, are a bit higher. I don't know, you guys probably can't tell. This one is squished down because I had it in my closet. I felt like, I will say off the bat, I had lace bite my first day with these. Uh, right on my um, instep, I did not get that on this, on the five. So I think they they not only raise the collar on the fives, but I feel like that lace bite issue might be fixed. I know a lot of other people felt that, so we'll uh, we'll stay tuned for that. But off my first run, I did not have that problem. So that's huge because that almost turned me away from these uh, the first time I wore them. Let's see. So. As for grip, uh, they both have the Max Track here. You guys can tell, very, very similar. However, they did change up the pattern a little bit. Not, not a lot. It's still, it's still what we know. It felt great. It was just on some dirt, uh, some dry pack dirt. So, it, you know, I didn't really get to tell. But they changed it up a little bit. Um, you know, maybe they did that for a reason. I, I doubt. Most companies, when it comes to outsoles, they really only change it up um, as they feel it, it's going to be better. So, hopefully, that's uh, true to this as well. Yeah, I know a heel, the heel collar was a big issue for a lot of people on the 4.5s. I never had an issue with it, but um, this one felt great. The 5 felt great. It is a little higher, so I don't know if that, maybe they fixed that, but you do have the gator trap on the back as well. You've got a pull tab too, so that's great to see they didn't get rid of that from either shoe, but the heel is a little bit higher, I believe. Let's see. I guess it's not that much higher, but the instep is so much higher. Like, it's... It, We'll do some close-up shots, but um, so the heel is actually not that much higher. Very similar mesh on the inside, little different. Um, you have the pull tab on the tongue as well. Let's see, what else do we have here? I believe the fives are a little bit heavier as well. Um, that should be due to the ego midsole. I'm okay with a little bit more weight as long as I'm getting a more responsive and uh, you know cushioned midsole, or durable as well. Well, I um, really. I was trying to see what else you have the fin not the fin but the little thing on the back there 
on both of them. I think the five, again, most important part, I think the five looks really good. Very excited to get to use these more, do some hiking and backpacking with them this summer because I know a lot of people, a lot of you will probably watch this video and use them for that purpose. I, it's a very, very popular shoe in the backpacking community. So excited to get this out. Hopefully this could help you guys. If you guys like this kind of content, go ahead and hit like and, or subscribe. That really helps me out and I'm gonna be doing a lot more trail shoe reviews, anything backpacking, hiking, uh, car camping, anything really I can do here in Colorado. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some gear and use it and make some videos. So if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Uh, until the full review, just stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.